Over the years, I have been upgrading and building my setup, and I'm gonna be showing you guys every version of it. So this was my very first setup ever, and it was, I had it at the end of 2021 on like October or something like that. But this is when I first got my desk, so I kind of just put my like Chromebook there that I use for school. And also bought some peripherals like the keyboard and mouse because I already had the mouse pad. The peripherals were really bad. It was a membrane keyboard, a cheap wireless office mouse, and a mouse pad. And each peripheral was under 20 bucks. It was really bad. And then I have some two Fortnite chests and my Fitbit is laying on the left one. My Nintendo Switch for decoration, I guess. I don't know what it was doing there, but flowers for some reason because I thought it was like a fake plant. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool, but... But it wasn't and then we got a little pencil holder with some pencils and a pencil sharpener so yeah this was a really bad setup and it was really hard to play on because i had to use geforce now but let's just go on to the next setup so this was my setup of 2022 on january so like right after christmas so as you guys can see a lot has changed and i got some stuff for christmas so the stuff i got for christmas was the mouse which is a logitech g 402 i think it's called and then the pa my parents gave me uh that monitor so i didn't have to play on that like 11 inch screen and i also got that lamp over there and a couple the blue light glasses um the headset maybe I don't, i'm not sure i might have just bought that i also got the headset stand holder so we a lot has changed in this one and um the, oh by the way the chair i'm using is an office chair so it wasn't like the most comfortable for like gaming and stuff for a long time then we have that controller under there it's like just a simple nintendo switch one wireless earbuds and we still got that chromebook we're playing on so that is something we definitely need to upgrade in the future and of course i did because there was no way i was gonna play on that thing for years the headset was really bad too i think that one was under 20 bucks maybe like 20 bucks uh but we did upgrade it so we did make some progress but let's move on to the next which is the third setup this setup was april of 2022 and as you guys can see we finally got rid of that chromebook in the corner and if you can see down below um on the left of the desk we have an x Xbox One S and this my this was me and my brothers so we shared it so I had to like keep bringing it downstairs and like back upstairs but the bad thing about this setup is that it was near the kitchen and there was no door like separating it so it was really hard to film YouTube videos and I think I was just starting kind of getting into YouTube at this time so I don't know why I decided to put the Xbox on the floor but I don't think that was a good decision the stuff on the sides didn't change which were the headset stand like headset wait did I I think I got a new mouse pad before in the next setup but i just didn't say that one for some reason not much has changed in this setup but in the next one i think i do move my xbox up so it doesn't look stupid this setup was my setup in may of 2022 so like a month later than the last picture and i guess i finally decided to put my xbox on the shelf next to me it still wasn't on my desk but it still was an improvement and then for some reason i thought it was cool to have my lamp behind my monitor even though it literally looks so dumb but at this time i really needed to move my setup into my room so i was kind of trying and convince my parents to and because it would be like a better workspace for school and all that stuff and youtube of course also i was saving up for an xbox series s at this time for like maybe like five months now so i'm just about to be able to buy one and stuff i might have ordered it and yeah let's just check out the next setup so this was my setup in august of 2022 and as you guys can see we finally moved my setup into my room which was really good considering i make youtube videos some things have changed here i got the xbox series s which was really good for filming videos it leveled up the quality and i also did get a new keyboard because the other one was really bad and it was the rk61 around 55 dollars i believe and then i also got that clock over there for aesthetic purposes and the webcam on top of the monitor i actually got from a friend so i didn't even have to pay a single dime the only thing the setup is lacking is some rgb and personality i also really wanted a gutsy aiden mouse pad at this time and maybe like a neon sign i saw a bunch of content creators having these gutsy aiden mouse pads and i really wanted one i was thinking of like a blue one but let's just see what it looks like in the next setup so this was my setup in january of 2023 so it is the next year now so christmas did come and and as you guys can see, we finally got that gutsy Aiden mouse pad I wanted. And if you can kind of see on the left of the setup, I got some new headphones, which were the Razer Barracuda X's, I think they were. The gutsy Aiden mouse pad is the Vermax one, because at that time, Vermax is my favorite YouTuber, and he actually still is. Mainly everything is the same, but the thing is, you can't see in this picture. I'll put a picture up on screen in a couple seconds that I got a neon sign, but you just can't see it in this picture. Here's another picture of it. But I did get the two things I wanted, but I still needed more RGB and decoration so let's go to the next setup 
so this was my setup in may of 2023 so about like five months later and as you guys can see we got that neon sign in the top that you just couldn't see before we also added some rgb lights behind it and at this time i was finally starting to get sponsors so you could see that microphone in the boom arm which came from toner did have rgb on the boom arm which looked good in my setup so i also added a himalayan salt lamp on the left then we also have a ring light to add some light when i'm filming like shorts and stuff and then i also got a new mouse because the other one on the bottom it had like a mark and it was catching on my mouse pad so it wasn't easy to play with and then i finally got a pl fake plant because i heard a lot of people talking about this they liked them so i was like i'll just get one i guess and then i also got a new controller because that broke when i put my headset in it and dropped it sadly so that is definitely not good the next picture is my final setup so let's just see how it looks so this is my current setup as you guys can see so i have a chromebook on the left and a monitor and an xbox series s and the purpose of this is so i can do school and I could still game on it at the same time and then I moved the clock under my monitor and for the Chromebook this time I got a laptop stand from a company that they sent out to me and another thing they sent out to me was that phone stand on the right it's that little silver thing and then I still got the fake plant but I just moved the ring light near it and still got that neon sign and I got a new boom arm and mic from I think it was the same company actually and then I got a new keyboard from a company called Techware if you want to know which one it is it's the Techware Phantom Elite plus elite i think it is and i also got a new desk so it was a standing desk by odin lake and they are really really good i'm just gonna say that right now and then i also got a new chair here's a picture of it it's by andesi and it is really really comfortable and a lot of gaming chairs aren't but this one actually is so that was the progression of my gaming setup if you guys liked it make sure to subscribe down below and like the video of course here are the shout outs from uh like last times or a couple times ago's videos but peace